How are you, sir? Hey, Boris. Good, thanks. Yourself? Good, good. Can't complain. So, so any anything to discuss or? Uh, well, a little while ago, Henrik messaged in Slack saying he wasn't able to make today because of a meeting clash. Um, I don't have any updates today either. Um, so, yeah, I, I was going to give it a few minutes and see if anyone showed up and yeah, okay. probably finish yeah. quite quickly. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Unless there was anything you had to discuss. No, technically, I promised to discuss something. Uh, we, I thought we were going to discuss open telemetry at some point, but probably we can't uh, wait till Eric is coming back. We can do it. That's actually somebody just appeared, Victor, right? Yeah. Hi, Victor. Welcome. Um, we'll give it another minute or two uh, to see if anyone else shows up. Uh, Victor, just to let you know, one of the other main contributors, or probably the main contributor to this working group, uh, Henrik, uh Rexit wasn't able to make today's meeting um so unless you have any particular topics to discuss or if you'd like to learn about what we're exactly doing then uh by all means uh i can stick around and explain that yeah that would be uh, great yeah uh, my cm i'm trying to learn the overall you know the cncf kubernetes world the landscape and products um observability is one area I have not got a lot of uh, um I guess learning myself, I haven't figured out. I know it's very important, open telemetry, you know, that's very important. Uh, the, the reason I'm joining this call, yeah, just to just saw that this is specific about Kubernetes. Uh, I just started trying to, I guess, learn what's the diff scope differences and anything special going on uh, in Kubernetes versus overall observability. Okay. Uh, well, I can give you some details on that. Let me just share my screen, that one. Um, so I'm not sure if you've uh, looked at it yet, um, but we have a uh, GitHub group, uh, observe-k8. Um, and let me see if I can remember where everything is. So in the hub here, um, we have our charter, which defines the purpose of the group. Um, our main goal was to come up with a set of best practices of deploying an observability environment with CNCF projects. So like Prometheus for metrics, um, Jaeger for tracing, things like that. But do it with, on top of Kubernetes. And the longer term goal is to also have an environment that is usable by anyone wanting to understand observability, that they can go to a website, uh, play with sample applications, and then see what is created in the captured telemetry through the different observability signals, logs, metrics, traces, profiling, et cetera. Um, that's kind of it at a very high level. Uh, what we have at the moment is, I think it's in this one, the Observe Kades demo is where Henrik's done a lot of the work to define the charts and process to deploy various observability toolings to Kubernetes. Uh, so we have a main branch there, and then there's like a, uh, there's one specific for EKS and GKE as well. Um, and kind of this is what's deployed right now. We're using, I think we're switched to using the hotel demo, um, that is being created by open telemetry. Uh, and where do we list what pieces are deployed? Um, maybe it's in that. Okay, so yeah, we're doing uh, Prometheus, uh, Alert Manager, uh, actually Tempo at the moment, Fluent Operator, Loki, uh, Kubecost, uh, the Hotel Collector, 
deploying the Hotel Demo app and Chaos Mesh is there as well. Uh, so they're the various pieces we're putting there. Um, so this is kind of like all the scripts to deploy that to your own Kubernetes, uh, but long term, we, as I said, we'll have a website whereby you can uh, start up the environment, play with it yourself, and just see what happens. When you, you're, since you're showing me the source code, that's one thing I've been trying to figure out. Like, um, if I like interested in like looking at the source code and see you know which project I'm able to contribute eventually. Um, so like in, in this case, um, you're you're showing me the deployment dot sh. Um, is that a good place to start, uh, or should be like um, just look at the 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 main uh go uh, for for the for the um. Uh, I, I guess yeah. In this case, is that is that the right place to start from to understand the code base? Uh, for this one, it could be that or the um. So the make file just builds a Docker. So that's just for Docker. Okay. So you could either look at the deployment script itself or uh, look at the Docker file. Um. So and you can do it with um K3D following these steps here. So if you wanted to do it in like EKS, for example, then the steps uh, give you all the pieces you need to create your EKS cluster, uh, deploy control, ingress controllers, and deploy the various pieces. Uh, these have a lot more descriptions as to what it does, because it requires a lot more, I think, manual intervention than uh, the this one here where it's just all the pieces are there and you just run a make file. So the de deploy, uh, that's that's for generic non-public cloud deployment? Yes. And the deploy environment. Uh... Does it matter what well, I'm talking about generic? Does it, does it matter whether it's uh, running on bare metal, VMware, OpenStack, does it matter? It, it shouldn't do no. Uh, if the underlying Kubernetes cluster is there, then it should just work. So, for example, here you could just get a local K3D running or um, probably even Kubernetes inside Docker running on your machine and, and run these make files, and it should bring up all the necessary observability tooling. So, so okay, so that deploy is a good place to start. But if I want to just understand to what, what the source code does, uh, other than the deployment at .sh, anywhere else that you think is a good place to start? Um, I think that that's really all this does. So this in the source here is the actual application that's being deployed. And then all the other directories are the various components. Um, so there are some other docs in here. Um, service table, okay. Trace service features. Um, yeah, all the other pieces are kind of what's being deployed. Um, there may be potentially interesting configuration in there, such as, uh, let me think. Uh, so for Ingress, it's just defining like the ingress point for Grafana there. So th that's kind of all the details of deploying, deploying the individual tooling. But for this particular project, it's probably really the deployment SH will tell you what's being um, set up and uh, linked together. So the deployment.sh is a good place to start. The SRC has the actual uh, source code for most of the functions. Uh, uh, and the, that's, that's yeah, the, the, the source place. has like the actual end user application that's being deployed to the cluster. Okay, I think I have good enough information for me too. Continue. And uh, if you have any questions, by all means, reach out on the, uh, what is it called? Uh, let me find the right name. Uh, the wg-observe-k8s um, Slack channel in the CNCF Slack. Um, that's where uh, most of us are. Thank you. Not a problem at all. Um, any other questions or comments, Victor or Boris? Otherwise, I'll say thank you very much for your time today and 
you can have some time back. No, I'm good, Ken. I'm good. Thanks, sir. No more questions. Thank you. No problem at all. Thanks, Thanks very so much for attending, guys. And I'm hoping over the coming meetings we'll uh, start making some more progress on this. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day.